we're here at Kaokulan in Namibia and Dani and the camera guy joined up with us somewhere in the morning hours <laughs> after nice uh, sightseeing. sightseeing they took the scenic route um, we're busy leopard hunting over here yeah so we're gonna check some baits today we are in a Virapuka. There we go. That's area one. <laughs> yep. So we'll go and see and have a look what if something hit our baits on at area two. Um, that's a little bit of a drive, but we need to get there so we can check. And we've located some lions. One I may be able to hunt that's got a a track. No bigger than his head. No, <laughs> <pinhead>. <laughs> <laughs> but it's huge. It's huge. <laughs> the track. <laughs> the track. Uh, you must specify what. Yeah. yeah. We so. going to what? What's number two's name? Urupupa. Urupupa. It is a very a hero vipuka. That one is Urupupa, and the other one is Oma Tendeka. Oma Tendeka is the right. The rest are just vipukas. That's why I stop at Virapuka. <laughs> <laughs> at least you've got every puka down. We got the big kahuna on with us today, don't we? Yeah, it's a big kahuna today. Yeah, we left Sad Sack behind. <laughs> <laughs> stopped here now. This is our first bait in Orupupa area. There was a honey badger here two days ago when we got here. So Tani said he saw now a young young or a female young leopard track back there. The bait is just down here. There's a water spring just down here. So let's go have a look. So um, we got we were here two days ago. Uh, honey badger was here. Looks like he's still here. <laughs> I came and fed on the other side. You can see it a little bit better. Um, zebra is getting a little bit of a smell to it now. Don't, but no leopard yet. Um, so we're going to just redrag again, and maybe in about two days' time we'll come back here, or not tomorrow, the day after. They come and check again. I didn't say anything, but go for a bottle of water or something. Water. 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 Yeah.
Well, we got you to this one blind. Um. <laughs> <laughs> if Greg doesn't scare him off before we do. <laughs> um. <laughs> Move up. Move up. <laughs> um, there's this, we found this leopard's track down at the bottom. Um, and we weren't sure if he was going to head up here or not. Um, so we went, came up here and checked at this water. Um, and we found a big track, that same Tom's track going right past the bait, about 10, 15 yards past the bait. Um, so we're just putting up our blind, getting it set up. Lena told us the previous time that this leopard came and he watched, checked it out for about a day or two before he came and started feeding. So um, we're gonna, we just put up a fresh drag. We don't wanna move too much down there. Um, get the blind set up, most of it tonight and see if we can leave before four o'clock then we'll come back and have a look tomorrow again. Another long day. But encouraging. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, be quick being a tourist. Got it up, no one can see it. <laughs> 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 he missed it. He's like this. <laughs> Cheers. On a big track? Come on, Curly. Good to be Curly, you say. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 We're hoping it'll warm up rather soon, <laughs> but it, uh, we're going over to check where we saw a huge leopard track, hopefully hit on the bait, and uh, we'll make plans from there, and we gotta go get gas, and it'll probably be 10 before Donnie gets his hands out of his pockets, but <laughs> they seem pretty busy. <laughs> Other than that. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> we do it. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. We're just standing at the Oberipuka Conservancy office. Um, there's a post. It looks like the the line permit might go through. Um, we're just waiting for the chairman who just to talk to him uh, face to face. Just want to find out exactly what's happening and where. I'm a nervous wreck. Um, <laughs> It is a magic show. <laughs> no, that is um, the problem. <laughs> so we're just waiting for the chairman to come so we can just quickly talk with him. And then um, to find out what the deal is with the ministry guys or if they're still necessary because there's now some other miscommunication or something. Just want to clear that up. So that's why we're just hanging around here, spending our valuable hunting time over here. <laughs> You're getting this down good. <laughs> what do you do with your hands? <laughs> well, we hit uh, one spot at this, uh, where the honey badger was feeding. We want to see if he maybe left and a leopard decided to kick, come on the bait. Um, so yeah, we're quickly going to have a look here. Huh? That's a big guy in it. So yeah, this is a, where the elephant corridor where they've been coming down to drink water for many years. You can see the difference, look here Greg. See between there and yeah. here. Yeah, they, oh, it's been it smoothed up. <laughs> yeah.
looks like the lion permit deal might be going through in the next day or so. Um, so we still have some daylight left. We checked the leopard bait this morning. There was nothing there yet. So we want to see if we can get a zebra, some lion bait. And then we head out, see if we can put that one out so long on the camera even. Closest ones are here underneath this tree here. See this one standing through here by itself. We can use this little bush, this shrub that yeah, it's still gonna be a far shot, so. Get up to these shrubs there, we can drive either one of the ones in the open or underneath the tree. It's going to be about 150 yards shot. Yeah, this is too far with this wind. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Try and get up to there. Just stick close together. Yeah. Go straight up in the shrub. Just breathe. I've got no idea where you are. Hit him. Reload. Look at the other leg is down. He's down. I wasn't playing on a windy 300 <laughs> fucking yard shot. I thought I was going to shoot him out of the window. <laughs> Where's that one? Good old blackie. <laughs> <laughs> nice going, Greg. Let's go, just case go. Go that side. Say, get up, Bert. <laughs>
So hopefully that's not the entrance wound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with this wind, I shot it about six, eight but inches. It was apart. kind of quartering. Yeah. But still, that wind had to... Look how far, far that bush is away. <laughs> of course, we, it was by that tree, but still. Okay. She's safe. So we came out to this open valley. We just parked the car a little bit further away. Came around the hill, saw a whole bunch of them. It was a really close shot. <laughs> Ended up being about a 300, 350 yard shot. About 350 yards, I think. Yeah. Beautiful shot. Um, so we're going to quickly load the zebra up. This is what this is going to be our lion bait. And the bullet was sticking right out of the hide right there. Yeah. Nice no, going, Greg. But there's that one back there where we saw, there was, because there's two males here, a big one and just a little bit, huh? What did he say? Okay, let's go, let's go. I didn't know, I didn't know you hung things so high, but uh, a lion can reach up to that front shoulder with his, with his front paws, and they're afraid if two of them do that, they could pull him right out of the tree. So that's why it goes that high. <laughs> you fuck you up. I wonder what happened if we did that together in the gold. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> Friendly but very seriously <laughs> We are going to uh, uh, Leopard has hit the one bait, so we're gonna go over and check on it. And then on the way we had hung a zebra up for a lion bait and uh, uh, look out behind you, Martin. <laughs> uh, we're we're gonna see if the lion hit on it, but we're gonna go check the track and it put a camera out over there. So shit's starting to happen a little bit. Thank you. 
guess you guys are leaving us tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Who else is leaving us tomorrow? Just the two of you. Mm -hmm. And Laura. And Laura also. So yeah, apparently I need to say something. So. <laughs> you never had a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, your turn is coming. Right? So, yeah, just thank you very much for everybody coming and being here uh, for this two nights. It was good having all of you in camp. Um, and I'm sure Greg appreciates it as well. He's going to yeah. say something just now. So you guys <laughs> oh, no. have, a, have a safe journey back or back home and low up to the Caprivi. So yeah, thank you very much. Greg, you're up. <laughs> you're up. I'm done. <laughs> no, I'm glad everybody came up. I don't get to see some of you very often and it's good to see you. I don't know what they're feeding you, but it's working. You're growing <laughs> like a weed. You're a foot taller every time I come. We're just dissecting this whole area, uh, trying to come across the big lion track to get an idea of what location they're in and uh, carrying on doing that. And we just found some, but it's not the big boy, but it's encouraging anyhow. So we'll take it from there. Um, there's one young male lion track over here. He most likely came and drank water. So I think it's the same one from the river. He most likely come from this side, drink water, went back this way. Same size cat as that one at the bar. He fed here and he went up and fed up there last night. How does that side look? Look, look at the top there. You see, the only way to reach up there is from a tree. He was on this side and he pulled it up. Look, look here. Look at, just step on the rocks. Step on the rocks, Greg, so we don't. I'm not sure if there's more tracks or not, but. See here. Uh, that's nail marks pulling it up this way. Fed most of it on this side. But you don't think it's a monster cat no more? Huh? Not, that, not according to that track, no. So we just want to clean up a little bit so that if he comes back, we can see a track properly. And then we can make that decision again. There's still enough meat down here. Plus we added up a fresh piece at the top where the, where the smaller cat is feeding. Um, so we're going to leave it just like that tonight and then come back and check it again. Got more. <laughs> spread. See. This spread. This spread. This spread. This spread. This spread. That way. Hold on. Hold on. Who hasn't got one? You? Hey, me. You over there? Let me see your other hand. <laughs> you got one? 
Now she's already got one. That's now what I thought. Two. Now she's got two. Thank you. No, she didn't. I Hunter's giving back. Zebra he shot yesterday, processed last night, made into sausage, giving it back to the community. Yes, Lucky. Yes, Lucky. Yeah, but not too late in it. In the bedroll, you have to go, you have to honor too. And I can bow you the blind out so you can make it work. It's kind of a cluster here right now, but we're trying to find out on a lion permit that we're not sure on. Frank, uh, Blackie's trying to call the, on a leopards, and uh, they heard a lion roar out over across there, so it's just a cluster all the fucking way around. <laughs> At least we found our trackers. <laughs> yeah. I said, how are we ever going to find a lion if we can't even find our trackers? <laughs> Well, we'd been looking for a lion over the other side of this concession, a big one. We haven't got onto him, and there's one over here that's been uh, killing cattle quite regularly. So we're coming over here to see if we can get a look at the track and maybe make a plan for it. And it's kind of on the way to where we're hoping a big leopard's hitting. Uh, you know, that's been hit or miss too. So we're just something hoping Hoping something good will happen here today, and and uh, yeah, it's about nine o'clock in the morning here, so that'd put it what uh, three o'clock in the morning at home. So uh, communications have been very little, but no. And as you can see, how people live here, and and uh, if he pans around behind him, how they uh, try to protect their animals that. Uh, I don't think it'd keep a dog out, but <laughs> that's it. <laughs> well, um, we took this camera off. So the, so the, there's pictures, but we never found the tracks. Um, so we took the camera off. But when we got the camera to the car, we saw there's some, there's a nice tom that was feeding um, on the pictures though. So we we're putting up a fresh piece of bait, and the problem is he hasn't been here for two weeks or for two days. Um, so we put up a fresh one, leave the camera up because I think it, this cat deserves an, a second look um, if we can just see the tracks. That should be fine. Oh, we're smelling something dead and there's lion tracks, so we're trying to see, I guess, just what's going on with them. Maybe I should go get it. Well, nobody else seems worried about it. <laughs> Leopard tracks, no? Yeah. Oh, but the leopards won't pull the leopards, will they? Yeah, Okay, so we drove past here. We saw this poor calf two nights ago lying just outside here all by itself. Um, we thought maybe mom was not far from it. Two days later we drive by and we just smell something rotten. Followed the smell and we found this. It's caught somewhere around there and it was dragged down here. 
So it might, I don't know, maybe the leopards caught it and hyena drugged it down here. Not quite sure. Well, we've been, we decided to uh, make a little change for the day and do some lion tracking, see if we can pinpoint where these lions are moving. Um, so, looks like we found a couple of waters around that one old lodge, but here yeah, we found one really nice track, um, maybe a day or two old, but he's definitely in this area. Um, we're just trying to figure out where these lions are and if we can see them while we're waiting for the permit. So if the permit comes through, this might be our, our, our guy. Thank you. More to follow, we hope. <laughs> What is this place? <laughs> this is a, a lodge which is vacant. And uh, we're just gonna have some lunch over here, do some game viewing from up here. <laughs> but uh, We can even go in the pool, eh? Just walk barefoot. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Day back at um, spending a little bit of time on the leopard until we get the, the lion permit. Um, Blackie will go out, he's, he's my, my right hand man in Omotedeka, um, and he's going to go out there and check our baits over there, um, the leopard baits. And Leonard's going to see if he can pick up those tracks, fresh tracks for the lions, which is in this area in, in, in Overipuka's side.
Well, it's windy this morning. We're going to give it a real good try this morning. Uh, we've kind of narrowed down where we're going to leopard hunt. I can't even say the name of the place it is over there. but uh, And it's a cameraman's last day. Uh, he's kind of delicate. He's got to go home and rest. But <laughs> we're hoping to get a little action on the baits. We've got guys out looking for a big lion, uh, problem lion, that I'm hoping to be hunting. I've still got about 11 or 12 days left and uh, we're hoping something good will happen in that amount of time. And uh, it's been real good having you along, Martin. Uh, things have went well and you've been a good companion on this trip. So uh, I won't go as far as say as I'll miss you, but <laughs> no, we will. We will, you've been big help and uh, we're hoping our luck turns uh, with as windy as it is today. Maybe it'll blow something in. So that's that's about. That cover all the bases. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think so. Look at that round nose, blockhead, thick chest. This is the one from there at the little Serengeti. Yeah. This is this one. Oh, you used, used a big stick to dramatize it. <laughs> no, because the only stick I had close by. Mm -hmm. All right, we're uh, just switched things on trucks, and uh, this will be our first night. We had a big cat come in about midnight last night and we're hoping he comes back tonight a little earlier and we're gonna try to put him in the salt but uh, you know a lot of things got to come together but we're just fixing to head up there and get set in there it'll be about four o'clock in the afternoon and we're willing to uh, set till after daylight so fun 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 so but hopefully the big boy comes in about nine o'clock and we're in the whiskey by 11 <laughs> there was that asshole bum me again? <laughs>
No, we sat in the leopard blind all night last night and was entertained with genet cats and honey badgers and crybabies and <laughs> all kinds of things. And uh, Martin's been uh, with us for, what, about seven days now? Eight days. Eight, eight days, and uh, he's got to go on to bigger and better things, and <laughs> we are uh, going to carry on. We'll miss him. He's did a good job. And, Oh, he's been a half-ass companion too. <laughs> <laughs> Only half. No, he's, he's, it's been it's been good. So we'll miss him and uh, good luck with where you're going. Yeah. So yeah. Also, I think this last last night was the first night we sat in the blind. Um, was hoping this leopard would come in. Um, I personally think he did not come in, which I'm glad about because there was a couple of things we need to change for the blind setup and so on. Um, so we're going to go back to camp, maybe have a little nap, and then just do some lion scouting this afternoon. It's too far to drive all the way back here again, just to come and check the bait or one bait. So, um, yeah, but also with Martin, thank you very much for a wonderful time. Even also in Mozambique, it was fun. Um, good luck with your next time. I hope you make your flight. <laughs>